It's Professor Dave. Let's talk about pronouns. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. In any language, we want to be able to refer to specific people, and we do this by using personal pronouns. These are words like me, you, he, she, us, and them. In Italian, these are called pronomi personali, and they will describe the person or subject who is performing a particular action. The main difference between pronouns in English and Italian is that in English, we must always use them, or else it would be ambiguous who the subject is. In Italian, the verbs state very clearly who is performing the action, so pronouns become optional. Sometimes they are used specifically for emphasis or contraposition. Let's first learn what the pronouns are. Io means I. We call this the first person singular. Tu means you in the singular form. This would be second person singular. Lui and lei mean he and she, which represent the third person singular. We could also use lei with a capital L for a more formal singular U. Now for the plurals. Noi means we, which is first person plural. Voi means you in the plural form, as in you guys. So that's the second person plural. And then loro means they, for the third person plural, while loro with a capital L means a more formal version of you in the plural. We should note that none of these pronouns assume gender except for lui and le. Technically, these are not even personal pronouns, but rather disjunctive pronouns used with prepositions. But we don't need to get into all that. You may also have noticed the absence of the pronoun it. It doesn't exist in Italian. Where English would use it, Italian skips it. For example, Ho comprato una macchina. È una bella macchina. Let's use some of these words in a sentence. Io ho un cane. Loro hanno un gatto. Io ho un cane. Loro hanno un gatto. I have a dog, they have a cat. È stato lui, non io. È stato lui, non io. It was him, not me. You'll also notice these words, o and anno. These are forms of the verb avere, which means to have. Since this is one of the most common verbs, and every sentence has to have a verb, let's move forward and learn this one first. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.